Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. Today is interesting, because we might have just gotten our first couple details on the FNAF movie. Definitely was not expecting this today, if you couldn't tell, I'm not done setting up my fall slash Halloween decorations. We got a scarecrow over here, I'd love for you guys to name them in the comments down below. Jack Lantern down here, the leaves are back on the floor, I still gotta put up the cobwebs, some of the purple and, and orange lights. But I think it's coming along and apparently, so was the FNAF movie. Perfect segue into today's topic, because the other day, Jason actually confirmed to us that yes, the FNAF movie is still happening. He said the Jim Henson's Creature Workshop is working on the animatronics, and we already knew about that. We saw a teaser not too long ago. We finally got our brand new director, Emma Tammy, and that filming of the FNAF film is going to start in February of 2023. That was the big bombshell announcement that we were all waiting for, and we also got a few other details of people working on the film, like Scott, Emma, and Seth writing the script, and then Russell Binder and Stryker Entertainment working as executive producers for the film. Film. So a lot of info on the FNAF movie, and we thought that was going to be the ending. We just coast until February, maybe get a few set photos, and then we officially know the movie's happening. Though what caught everyone by surprise was this announcement we got today. And that is the fact that 80 to 90% of the people that watch me are not subscribed. Absolutely crazy news, I know. So hey, just take a few seconds. I know I'm interrupting the, the video, but you know, the faster you subscribe and hit the like button, the faster we can get back to the FNAF movie news. Have you subscribed yet? Perfect. All right, so an article was written by Geek Vibes Nation today, and it was titled, New Character Details for Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's Film. In the article, it says, Thanks to a source close to Geek Vibes Nation, we have obtained exclusive new details regarding the characters for the film. The film is looking to cast a male and female lead and a female supporting lead. And this was the supposed exclusive details they got. The male lead, named Mike, is in his mid-20s to early 30s. His character description lends to some plot points for the movie. Riddled with guilt over a tragedy in his past and now struggling to take care of his younger sister on his own, Mike is low on options when he lands a new job to pay the bills. The night security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Mike is vulnerable with a tough exterior. Though he means well, his obsession with digging for truth may have potentially disastrous consequences. The secondary lead is for a female named Abby, who is going to be 10 years old. Mike's younger sister Abby is inquisitive and brave, with a creative mind and keen intuition. A bit of a loner who keeps her thoughts and feelings close to her chest, she expresses herself primarily through drawings. Growing up without her parents while being raised by an unreliable brother Abby has learned to fend for herself. That said, she is still very much a child, emotionally vulnerable, full of imagination, and not without the normal outbursts of a 10-year-old. And finally, the female supporting role, Vanessa. 20s. Vanessa is a police officer who shows up during one of Mike's work shifts. While leading with a bright and sunny disposition, Vanessa has a keen understanding of the dark history and inner workings of the restaurant. Not wanting to reveal too much of what she may know, she works to help Mike survive the night. The article then closes by saying, while the current details do not provide who the studio might be looking to cast, the age range might help pinpoint potential actors and actresses. With filming set to begin in just four short months, casting is not too far off. Now, I'm sure as I was going through the characters, especially the second one, you have a few questions. First off, why the heck is Elizabeth named Abby? Mike's younger sister, Abby? No, that's goddamn not Mike's younger sister, Abby. That's that's Mike Mike's younger sister, Elizabeth. What happened, what happened to Lizzie? What happened to Beth? Also, I believe the article has since been edited, but it had a lot of spelling mistakes and also, also, the Twitter account for this, you know, Geek Vibes Nation article company replied to people with just the most unprofessionalism I think I've ever seen. You are so mad that it does not fit your agenda. Where are the typos? They do not have to disclose their source, because obviously, if you're going to drop a bombshell like this and not disclose your source, you're going to have people asking, where did you get this info from? And they're not revealing that. Why should we disclose who gave us the info? No one ever discloses their sources with scoops, but we got the information from from a very reliable person. Yeah, I don't know how much I trust this, especially considering I don't think Scott would... <laughs> 
misname one of the most important characters in the FNAF lore, Elizabeth. So with all of those reasons, I'd say as fascinating as this new character could be, as fascinating as fascinating as, you know, these character interactions could be between Vanessa and Michael and Michael and Elizabeth or <laughs> Abby. I'd say still take this with a huge, huge grain of salt because this has not been confirmed, nor have they revealed who their sources are. I just thought this was going to be interesting to talk about. Loads of people have been blowing me up in the mentions because of this article. So I thought I'd at least address it go through it, kind of explain, yeah, there's a fair, fair chance this is not real at all, and it's just some weird article company making it up for clicks, which happens all the time, especially in the movie industry. Uh, but also, I mean, give my two cents on it. This, to be fair, is not far off from what we think the FNAF script is gonna be like, with Michael, you know, working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Who knows if they're still going with the Mike script. I know last time we heard they were going with it and they were going to film in spring of like 2021. And then later that year we heard they didn't have a script again. But you know, I don't know. This movie's all over the place. But I do think that they absolutely have a script down. Why would they, you know, get a director on board? Why would they already be making props with the Jim Henson's Creature uh, Studio if they don't have a script? And I do think right now they're probably uh, again, working on animatronics and props, and also looking at actors. So while I do think the timing is is right for them to start putting out, like, you know, descriptions for characters that actors can apply for, I don't buy this article at all. <laughs> and I think it's just most likely we should wait until Jason says something on Twitter. I know us FNAF fans always have his notifications on. And I think that should be really the only place we go to for FNAF movie news right now, unless it very explicitly says they got the info from a reliable source, like straight from Jason. For example, if you want to look at an article that does actually get in contact with these people, look no further than an article I tweeted out the other day when we got the announcement, which was the Blumhouse to adapt FNAF video game into a movie where they actually had direct quotes from Jason Emma and Scott. That is what an exclusive, you know, <laughs> info looks like. Not, he was a random character list with a character you've never heard of before that's filling the shoes of, well, again, one of the most important characters in the, in the series, but, you know, we're not gonna tell you what it's from. That's gonna do it for this FNAF news rumor video. I don't know, <laughs> this was a weird one, but I appreciate you sticking with me. I'd love to know, once again, what are we naming this Scarecrow fellow? And also, what are your thoughts on this info? Do you believe it? Do you not? What do you think the characters are going to be like? What do you think the script is going to be about? And of course, I'll let you know when we get definitive actual FNAF movie news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.